Hello, welcome pen friends. This is just a quick video to let you know what I'm going to be doing primarily over on Instagram for uh, for the month of June 2020. What I'm going to do is I'm going to explore 30 of my blue ink samples and I'm calling it 30 blue inks 30 days. So it's going to be a little bit different than I have done 30 inks 30 days in the past. Um, as you, most of you know, it, it's uh, something that was started with Ink Journal. For me, anyway, that's where I first learned about it. Ink Journal has these challenges, and I just love it. And, but I have a tendency to get a little carried away, and a few times I've done a video a day, and that was too much for me. Um, at the time, it, it, maybe it wasn't, but right now I know that it is. So this is how you can follow me. You can follow me at Snowball7470 over at Instagram. That way you can see the, the little daily picture that I post, but I will be coming on my YouTube channel and posting um, my results, you know, what, what happens in my small ink journal. This is the Lockbee um, booklet and it's 68 GSM Tamoy River paper. So I plan to work in this one. I've got it started. Let's see, let me move this aside and then we'll look at the colors before I go away. But. So, you know, I tend to come in and do these things. These are some of the inks that I've retired. They had tiny little bits in them. And so I've been working in this journal. It's a good thing I didn't do too much more in here, though, because um, I just counted the pages and there's just enough for me to uh, do the 30, 30 blue inks. And as you know, I have eight pens inked up, or if you've watched my other video, Chris's inked pens. I have them all in here and these will be for uh, letter writing primarily and note taking but I want to explore a different blue ink every day because I'm not going to get through them if I don't uh, you know move a little faster <laughs> shall we put it that way. These are some of the ones that just came through the door. I didn't include th this series of uh, inks because a pen friend just sent them and I have some that have been waiting a lot longer. Oh, okay, and this, these are my eight that I'm writing with. So I'll be beginning right here. So this journal will show up both on Instagram and back over here. And what I've done is I've tried to make this as easy on myself as I can. I've, uh, in this little uh, green pen case, I put the 30 vials and all I'm gonna do is just grab one out. I'm not gonna look because if I start trying to make a decision every morning, that won't be good. <laughs> It'll take too long. So I've got the 30 vials and then I've got my little serendipity right here. This is the um, from Pensive Pens, the Serendipity Mini. And right now I have the uh, Goulet Broad Nib on it, but I have two more nibs that I can work with uh, that aren't in use. I've got, uh, let's see. I've got the 1.1 stub here and then I've got Oh, that's a fine nib. Oh, I thought that was a medium nib. Well, that's okay. That's fine because really the medium and broader, they're fairly close. So that'll give me a chance if I do, like if one of these turns out to be real intense and I need it in a fine nib instead, then it'll be right here. And as soon as a couple of these vials go away, it'll fit up here. But I mean, it'll fit there, but I can't close my container right now. So I almost made everything fit. Okay, so... Um, let, let me just see what's next here. This is our month. Now, I'm not going to make any promises on exactly when these videos will be because I, I won't do more than a weekly update. And I, I was kind of shooting for, you know, once a week, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, you know, somewhere where it will have enough behind it that I can show you what I've been doing. And they might be really quick videos, and that would be fine. Like I could do on Mondays, but I'm not going to promise ahead of time because I work the best with absolutely zero pressure and just, you know, um, oh, it's a good day for a video and their lighting is good. That's how I work the best. Um, another thing I addressed was... Um, I have a the glass nib pen too, and that that's handy, but it doesn't tend to give me what I really need to see in evaluating inks on this paper. It tends to be a little too wet. Um, when you first start writing with the glass nib, it, it just is too much. And so if I wanna see how it's gonna look for letter writing or kind of evaluate it, I probably will stick every day with the, the little serendipity. It's so easy to clean and uh, 
I can just, you know, rinse that out each day when I get done. And I can actually keep it the whole day inked up with the blue ink of the day. And um, what I decided to do, because you know how challenges are, sometimes they're hard to, to finish. Um, I used to start challenges and not be able to finish them. Um, and what I'm thinking is that I will use one of the things I learned from that book, the, the habit, um, Atomic Habits, and I will stack it with another habit that's very, very strong. Let's see, my journal's over here. I'll probably make a mess, though, trying to get it. Um, every morning I come on to my pen desk and I write in my regular journal. And this is the, the new one. I filled this one up in May. This, um, the one with the, this is the Stiff Flexible Notebook. It turned out that I wish I had six more of them. That was really nice. It wasn't really, really fountain pen friendly, but I found a few pens that would write in it, and I just filled it right up with writing every day. So it, it just like, it was excellent. It just, just wonderful. Um, filled the whole thing up, got a lot of stuff off of my mind, and now I am started this one, which Pen Friend Marilyn sent. And so every day I come in to journal anyway, so I think what I'll do is, uh, when I get to my desk, I will go ahead and ink up for the morning with the one that I pull out of here. And uh, that'll be starting tomorrow, June 1st. Depending on when you see this, you know, that doesn't mean anything. But from, when, from where we are right now, this is May 31st, and I'll ink it up. Uh, I may even put a little extra ink in there so that it'll last a little while for the day. And uh, I'll start with a broad nib and see how that goes. Typically, with me, a broad nib is what I want to see them all in. So without any further, let's take a look at the inks that I chose. Now, I chose these very quickly and um, kind of intuitively because I have so many, I, it could have taken me all day. So let's get them off this ring here. Um, you know, I, and they're, with the exception of maybe two, they're all from Pen Friends. So these won't be in order because I'm just going to pick them randomly, but th there are three shimmer inks and I started out with those to show you. Uh, this is Nemesine Blue Snowball Nebula Twinkle. I wonder if I wrote that right. I may have to look and see if I copy that right, but that's gorgeous. And the pen friend initials are up in the right corner, except I think there's one where there's a question mark because I got confused. And then this one, um, this is the Diamine Alexandrite Shimmer. So that's going to be nice because over here in my regular, you know, day, I have uh, my Caveco filled with the Diamine Alexandrite that is not Shimmer. So uh, one of those days of, of June, I'm going to try out the Shimmer one. So that, I think that's great. I think that may be why uh, I went right to that one and pulled that out. Because I have over 80 blue ink samples, so it's not easy to choose. Um, and I'm very grateful for all of them. Let's see, two pen friends sent that, so I've got enough to fill a whole piston filler. But at this point, I'm just going to try it out and see how it works and, and how the water resistance is and so on um, with all my little inky experiments. And then uh, the next one is Diamine Blue Pearl. I have a feeling like I may have uh, worked with this. I tried to pick ones, though, that I haven't reviewed, but I wouldn't hold... I, my memory's not all that good, so we'll just leave it at that. Uh, and the next one, a beautiful turquoise Birmingham Winter Garden Snowflake. I've been dying to try this one. Um, I love Birmingham inks, and I really love a nice turquoise or bright blue like that. Next is Tasha Sora. I bought this ink sample. It's one of the few that's not from Pen Friend. And I've uh, been wanting to try it and really work with it. Then Lamy Turquoise. I, I love Lamy Turquoise. That is looking a little different than itself. We have rain and, and storms today, so it's a little bit strange. Okay, Pilot Orochizuku Kanpeki is one that I was confused about who sent that. That that really irks me, but I, I must not let things like that just, you know, um, stop me from doing things. Um, that is one of the ones I chose. And then Ackerman Passage Blue. Isn't that pretty? So there are several. I kind of grouped them together. So we'll get to the other blues in a minute. Here's Cross Blue. Now this is interesting. A pen friend shared a bottle with me, so I've got quite a bit of that. And I can't wait to see how that's going to write. That looks really pretty. Um, Diamine China Blue. 
Now that just makes me think of some of my mom's, um, it was blue willowware or something like that. It was really pretty um, china that she had when I was a little girl. And then next is Birmingham Bellflower. Okay, we're getting deeper in the colors now. I tried to arrange them that way on the ring. Um, okay, Monteverde Confidence Blue. It's bright, but yet it's not quite like a turquoise. It's just a nice bright blue. And then uh, Monteverde 2018 DC Super, Super Show Blue. That is pretty. You see why I can't come in every morning and make a decision? No way. I'll have to just put my hand in there. And then this one, I had to cover up the initials because I kind of remembered that the person that uh, gifted me some of these inks and, and a pen uh, wanted to be anonymous. So this is Robert Oster Soda Pop Blue. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. I mean, Robert Oster inks are great anyway, but that is a beautiful blue. And then Diamine, oh, I'm probably going to butcher this name, but oh, that's pretty. It's got some complexity to it. It's got a little almost pink or red sheen, um, but it's not too overwhelming. I think I'm going to like this. Diamine Sargasso C. That is gorgeous. Okay, I'm running out of room here. Well, I'll just kind of put them down right in the middle there. <laughs> Monteverde Peace Blue. Beautiful. Okay, now this was controversial and it almost hung me up and ruined the project, but I did decide to go for some teal inks and sometimes they look more green. So, but I just told myself, look, that's how I have it categorized. My blue, um, you know, blue, black, turquoise, teal, and uh, regular bright blue, they're all together because, well, I don't have room for grouping them all separate. So here's a real beauty from uh, Penfriend FD, Diamine Eau de Nil. I've had this a long time and should, shame on me, I should have tried it by now. Um, and this is Diamine Teal, very pretty. <clears throat> and then, so they're all together, all the teals are coming up at once here. Um, Lamy Petrol, now that looks really, really dark. I, I can see some sort of sheen over it, but I haven't even done ink splatters with, with this ink, any of these, so I, they're, it's all new to me. And here's Diamine Smoke on the Water. That's pretty. Um, it's turning it, the camera is, is not favoring, you know, making it look like itself, so I hope I'll be able to have some good natural light when I'm doing the Instagram shots, and maybe I'll be able to get decent pictures. Okay, this is the one I was really upset about, um, not knowing who sent it. Birmingham, Pennsylvania Railroad, Boiler Steam, Blue Black. And I went back and I double checked the, because there are two pen friends that like to send the Birmingham samples, but I, I'm confused, so it could be uh, someone else, or it could be that whoever that was wanted to be anonymous, which I don't think so, but, oh, let's see. Oh, we'll put it over here. Okay, then the next one, KWZ Meet Me in St. Louis. That is pretty. Now now we're, well, we're not quite, that could be considered a teal, sure. Um, there's all different levels of teal. And now we're going to get back into kind of a blue. Uh, Birmingham Grand View Avenue Midnight Horizon. Apparently these two were the same because I put pen friend and that's really really unusual with Birmingham. I oh, There are two people that are dear pen friends that I know send them. So I, I must have not put the initials or I redid the the swatch. And, and when I do that, I really irk myself. I don't like it. Okay, here is Diamine 150th Anniversary Versary Regency Blue. Now it seems like I had done something with that one before too, but I didn't want to hold myself up. I figured if they're over there to be done, then that means I haven't written with them as much, so, or at all. And here is Lamy Crystal Benetite. Okay, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but I don't know how to say it. From Ink Flight 40. That's, that's right hot off the presses. Um, and here is Diatremenus Night Blue Sherlock Holmes. I love this. I can't wait to see it in a nib. That's another reason why I can't just be trusted to rifle through them every day. I'll be doing that all day. I can see why pen friend Manda drew hers the way she did uh, last or uh, month before last. Okay, this is KWZ Sheen Machine. Can you see that red? I bet you can. Um, and this was sent to me all the way from Poland. Um, where the inks are made. And I can't wait to, to uh, try that. I was looking because I have a little 
little bottle that I put it into. I think it, it came, I can't remember how it came, but I put it into a Colorverse bottle so I could try it out. It's gorgeous. And then here's Monteverde Blue Velvet Cake. So that's another possibility. Diamine Blue Black. I didn't recount these to make sure there were only 30, but I believe there are. <laughs> I'll find out at the end, right? Okay, and then Bunga Box 4B. I know I've written with this, but I don't think I have done as thorough of an investigation. If I have, I've forgotten. And after almost three years on YouTube, I can understand if, if I've already done something with them and forgotten, uh, maybe in the early days. So there we have it. Uh, 30 inks, 30 blue inks, and 30 days of June that I'll be exploring these. Kind of on the side, if you want to call it. But it'll be first thing in the morning. So when I sit down in the morning, aside from the journaling, <clears throat> the other thing I do is write pen pal letters early in the morning. So I try to get one done before the whole house gets up. And usually the cats are kind of napping after their first meal. So that gives me a chance to write a letter. So I plan to uh, include whatever the blue of the day is in if I'm writing a letter. And if not, well, I'm just going to make a, a nice splash in the ink journal and try it out and try to keep it simple. Now, I'm not good at keeping things simple. That's why sometimes I get over my head and then then I have not participated when I really would like to, you know. I just have to make sure that, <laughs> that it doesn't take over my entire day, which I can easily have that happen. That's just the way I am. So that, that's what I'm going to do, and I'll be coming on to show you periodically, so hopefully that will be fun. Um, the lighting is always an issue, and so it's a lot more relieving not to do it every day because around here... Um, we just never know and this whole next week I think it's going to rain quite a bit. So I've got my pen, I've got the two extra nibs and 30 samples and I've, I've got this and I also have, um, most of these have a nice card that I can look at to kind of get an idea um, about water resistance and complexity and shimmer and the whole nine yards. So if I discover any that haven't been done, I'll need to get them over to the website person anyway. So this will be fantastic. It's like a little bit of a checkup to see whether I have done them. I think that's gorgeous. That's pretty. I think I picked it. Anyway, I, I didn't have time to pick all 30 of these out, but each morning I can surely find the one that corresponds if I'm uh, interested enough to see what it looks like on these cards. So thank you very much for joining me and please let me know in the comments if you are doing 30 inks 30 days for June and I know a lot of people are and I know um, pen friend Manda over on her channel she's doing something that she has called um, pen friend appreciation month so that is just awesome. I mean that is going on over here too because 99% of what I have for blue ink has been sent to me by pen friends, generous people like you viewers and uh, pen pals and friends. So this is kind of brought to you by you. I'm just showing you what I can get from these and how I'll be trying to show you how they look in the nibs. So thank you very much. Have a great uh, rest of your day. And I can't wait to hear from you on the comments if you're going to participate in this challenge in some way. Hopefully, maybe this has inspired you. Um, we can keep it really simple. We can adapt it to ourselves. Um, maybe you've got 80 red samples. I don't know. <laughs> but I find myself with a lot of blue. And I think I'm going to feel a lot better about that by uh, actually writing with so many of these during June. Okay, I got to skedaddle. Bye for now.